Hi everybody. I don't know if this is focusing well. Let's do a test or two. It should be on autofocus. New camera, new problems. I'm still getting used to it. I literally just got it. So hopefully we'll have minimal problems with it and I hope this looks good and sounds good. So I just wanted to do a change of venue here. Um, we're currently in what is formerly known as the dining room in uh, my home, but we don't use it as a dining room. It is the record room. So it is a little bit of a mess. It's kind of a record slash playroom currently because we are trying to figure out how we want the layout of the house to look. Um, so hopefully this will be a full functional just record room. We have this Ikea shelf here. Um, and I can't remember what they call it now. It used to be called the Ex Expedite, Expedite, something like that. And then they, the Calic, I don't know. It's changed names. It's got a little bit different look to it. This is full. We have to get another one. <laughs> and we have another one. It's in the basement, but we don't have a room in here right now to set it up. And we're hoping to get a new um, record player with a tape deck and a CD deck, all that stuff. So we will have all the good music in here. So yeah, we've got lots of stuff we want to do need to paint, need to hang up stuff, but this is what we call the record room. So I just figured I would come down here since today's video is going to be about records and vinyl and however you want to call it. So this is going to be a vinyl haul video. Uh, since we are avid collectors, I thought it would be a great idea to just do um, a couple haul videos on some of the vinyl that we've purchased recently. And I, I mean, we have a decent stack from December through now, so I'm just going to go through about five or six of them because I don't want to make this super lengthy, and then we can do another haul later. Um, if there's any other things in my collection you guys want to see, it's very eclectic. We listen to a lot of variety of music, uh, but I do want to make this kind of a... Um, I just wanted to make this kind of a staple here on my channel since music is a huge portion of our lives. Uh, we both play instruments, my husband is in um, several bands, my son is learning to play the drums, I tinker with, I used to play guitar a lot, I don't as much as I want to. Um, I kind of want to pick it back up again, it's been a while, but I have been tinkering around with my ukulele lately, uh, so yeah. I've got coffee over here as always because it's, it's kind of late in the afternoon and I never got coffee this morning so it's time to brew some. <laughs> well let's get started with uh, the haul. So first off I have two records here from Third Man Records which we have a new location here in Detroit. So uh, recently took a trip there and well actually my husband did. He was in the area and stopped. I'm kind of upset because I haven't been there yet. The last time we tried to go it was closed because there was a random power outage so our whole trip down there didn't we didn't even get to go in so hopefully we'll get there soon and then we'll make another haul video because i'm sure i'm gonna purchase a lot but these are um pretty cool because there is uh third man records in nashville tennessee as most of you know if you're into vinyl and they do live shows there and record and press immediately what happens in the shop so i have two of those here um and this one first is the that's interesting this one's printed at the bottom and that's printed at the top this is the i'm sorry my lighting is causing some glare we'll figure that out this is the five six seven eights and this is from their live recording at uh the third man records in nashville on 10 22 2010 so this was you know this is about seven years old but i really dig the five six seven eights and if you don't know who they are but you're into a little bit of pop culture stuff and you're a movie buff. If you've seen um, the movie Kill Bill, you've seen the five, six, seven, eights because they were the band playing during that massive fight scene with Uma Thurman, um, Beatrix. Spoiler alert, that's her name if you haven't seen it by now. <laughs> but yeah, so they do press them right there. They're nothing fancy. Uh, they're just strictly a black vinyl. So nothing super fancy there. Sorry, I'm very peculiar about how I open and touch my records. 
so if it's awkward that's why but it's all live uh, and I really dig this album I did get a chance to listen to it once or twice through and probably my favorite track on it is their kind of take on um, the song well they have a different name for it because it's their take on it and it is three cool chicks is their version and that is if you're familiar with the Beatles they also have a cover of it and the original artist is the coasters and the song is three cool cats so um i was really surprised when i heard them play that i not one that i've heard them do before and i really liked their take on it so i dig the five six seven eights i'm glad that uh we got to bring this one home so yeah that is number one number two is another live recording from the third man records in Nashville and that was done um, on 10 10 2012 and this is the kills so I'm not super familiar with them this is one my husband picked up but I did take a listen to it and start listening to some of the music and I really really dig it so this has about eight tracks on it um, and you know four on each side again it's that typical black vinyl again nothing nothing fancy because um, like I said, they record and press them immediately in-house, in which is pretty cool actually. So, but I just started listening to these guys and they kind of give me, they're like an indie rock band. Um, they give me like Velvet Underground and some Sonic Youth feels when I listen to them. So, I'm into it. I really like it. They're kind of synthy, um, but that's okay. I'm into it. So I would ch if you're into that kind of stuff, check them out. So that's the kills. I can't say a whole lot about it because I don't know a whole lot about them yet. Um, but so far I really like that one. And then we got a couple more to go through. I just need a coffee break because it's been a day and a night and another day and a night. Alright, back up. So next up, this one is... I'll take it out of a little dust cover this one is power trip and they are kind of a hardcore uh, thrash metal band I told you our music's very eclectic you guys <laughs> so we had the five six seven eights which are like rockabilly grungy and then we have the kills which are more um, still indie and synth and watch out buddy and now we've got some hardcore metal <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we like we like lots of different kinds of music and I really really like this album you guys I've listened to it a couple times uh, I have a fun video of my son just dancing crazy to it without a shirt for whatever reason but we all enjoy this one very much I really like the cover art it's really cool so definitely a message here so you've got some soldiers down here and this apocalyptic scene really love it so these guys, if you're unfamiliar with them, they are from Dallas, Texas. And like I said, they are a hardcore thrash metal group. So this one, again, is also... Where are you at in here? Um, a good album if you're into that kind of music. And all, everything else but the record is... What happened here? All right, I did not put this back in here this way. I'm very upset right now because I have a very peculiar way of how I handle my vinyl. So this is actually a fun little color and it's gonna show up very um, amber here, but it is, and I'm not sure if it get closer you can tell. It's got this cool little very faint marble effect in it. And it is kind of a marigold color with green and red marbled in it. But yeah, so that's a cool colored vinyl. We did have, we do have a couple of those. Now I'm going to put it back where it belongs, like it belongs. I'll have to do a more in depth. I just kind of popped on here because I thought this would be a fun idea, and then maybe I'll do a more in depth view of each band and my favorite tracks after I listen to these a little more. Because um, like I said, most of these are really really new, and I haven't had a lot of time to listen through them thoroughly. Um, I like to put music on in the background. We don't have the most fantastic sound system, so if you're not like in this room listening to it, you can't really hear it outside of here unless you crank it, which isn't good for the speakers we have. 
so hopefully we're gonna upgrade soon Ooh, excuse me but yeah i do really like this album um quite a lot and i don't have a favorite track yet but i can let you know and i'll put some links down for each of these bands if you want to check them out um and yeah i'll just put some links below if you want to check these guys out check out their music put them on your spotify purchase one of their vinyls or their mp3s and then here we go again with a, another vinyl that we recently purchased and this is by a band of skulls and this album is called uh by default this band is from england and they are another kind of like indie garage rock band kind of bluesy hints too and i believe this is just your typical yeah black vinyl no fancy colors here but i did like this album i took a couple listens to the tracks and they're pretty good so and i should mention that the last one power trip is their newest release so this came out in 2017 and same with this one this is the newest release for uh band of skulls this one also came out in 2017 so these are new releases for these two groups here if you're interested so and then we've gone from hardcore metal over to indie garage rock bluesy stuff <laughs> yeah but uh this album has what do we got here 12 tracks on it so six on each side and yeah i really dig it i don't know cover it's kind of cool kind of interesting looks like just a uh i don't know where this is And then this still has the sticker on the front because we have the dust cover on. I'll take that off so there's not a lot of glare. So you can see the album cover and the little sticker here. And we love it when it comes with these little download codes. They're the best. So we get very upset when we buy a vinyl that doesn't come with a download code. I can talk a lot a bit about this one right here. Not that I don't already have every single David Bowie album on MP3, but I would have really liked the remastered stuff, and this was a pretty penny, so I'm kind of a little upset that it didn't come with download codes, and the record label has yet to get back to me on any form of social media that I reach out to them with. So yeah. If you're out there and you pressed this album, please get a hold of me because I really want to know if there is a download code for it this doesn't come with one and it really should because <laughs> that's a lot of vinyl and a lot of money so yeah that's one of my beefs like you spend a ton of money on a box set here and there's no download code so then you have to go back and virtually hi buy the whole albums all over again the remastered versions and this is special like i won't say how much it is and i won't say how much it is to repurchase them all on mp3 but it's not cheap <laughs> so yeah we can go over that vinyl later if you're if you're interested in that it's actually one of my favorite box sets and i'm i really want to get um the rest of them um there is two more i believe in this as well so next album up you guys stay there okay you can't walk all over the you got dog fur in my mouth thank you yes i know yes c's gotta be the star of the show you guys i know He's sweaterless today. It's brushing day. All right, buddy, excuse it. You gotta sit, okay? Stay. So next up is another new release from this band. Um, so we've got three new releases in a row, and this is the new Goldfinger album, The Knife. And sometimes I'm peculiar. I don't always take the plastic off. I like to just, if it's one of those that buy, if it's not a bifold vinyl, if it's just, you know, an opening here, I just like to keep it nice. That's just me. I like the dust covers to be nice. We've got a lot of vintage vinyl here and the covers. Some of them are in pretty poor shape. Um, so whatever I can do to keep them in good shape is fine by me. And this is one of my methods. Until I can get a bunch of dust covers. That's my ideal. <laughs> I'm going to be that old collector lady that's like, you got to put on gloves before you touch my vinyl. This one here. Are you barking? What are you barking at? 
he's barking at something, I don't know. So like I said, this is the new Goldfinger album, The Knife. And honestly, um, I really, really love Goldfinger. They're one of my favorite pop punk bands. Uh, I really just enjoy their music and I love the message that stands behind their music because they are also animal activists as well as political activists and that is something that resonates with me. And this album took me a couple listens to get it to grow on me. I think because they've had some shakeups with the band, um, you know, Darren is no longer with them. Travis Barker is now with Goldfinger and he drums on this album. They do have a lot of musical guests that's special or special musical guest on this album as well. Uh, and, but it just took a couple listens. And I mean, this album was produced by the uh, same guy that did the Blink-182 album and I'm just not a Blink-182 fan. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just not. I just never have been, never will be. I'm just not a fan. So it just it just had that Blink-182 feel, and it just took me a little while to, I guess, get over that. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It took a couple listens, but it was really grown on me, and I really do enjoy this album a lot. So this one is... I'll have to pull the whole thing out here. This is such a fun vinyl you guys so i love this special edition color version and it has got this half cream half orange with this starburst black effect on it and i really really like it it's really pretty yeah and then the uh front side has a little skull gentleman with the bouquet of flowers and the back side has a little skull girl with a knife behind her back <laughs> so I enjoy a fun colored vinyl. Let's put that back in there all nice and neat. Maybe. Sometimes I have such a hard time putting them back into their proper location. And this also comes with insert with, I didn't pull out the insert of the other ones, but this one kind of fell out. So this has lyrics inside and the band lineup and all the special guests that are on here. So yeah. I can get it back in here. Yeah, if you're a fan of Goldfinger, I highly recommend this album. Um, just give it a chance. So if you've been following Goldfinger for a while, you will notice this one's a slight different, um, slightly, it, this one is slightly different from their older stuff, but it's still in that same vein. It's still Goldfinger and it's still good. So I really enjoyed it a lot. And see, that one I can talk about because I've listened to it a couple times because the first time through, actually the first time through was before I even had the vinyl in hand. And I was like, do I want to buy it? I'm not sure if I like it yet. I'm going to have to listen to it again. So I listened to a couple more tracks and I'm like, yeah, okay. And then my husband gifted it to me. And then I listened to it a couple more times. And yeah, I thought to myself, I like it. It's grown on me. So yeah, I do enjoy that one. And then last but not least, because I don't like to make lengthy videos, um, this is not, I know you guys have other better things to do with your life probably than watch me yammer on on YouTube, but I just like to make my videos, um, as short as I can for you guys. So it's quick and easy and fun and you're not sitting here for 45 minutes like what the hell is she talking about? So, but this last one is a fun one and that is the, uh, Mondo exclusive Contra soundtrack. Yay! So if you are a video game fan like we are, then you know exactly what Contra is. So this vinyl is pretty cool. It's not special in color print or anything. It's just printed on black here. Uh, but side A is the Nintendo soundtrack and side B is the arcade soundtrack and it's all 8-bit and all fantastic and it will definitely give you the feels when you listen to it. So, and it's got that awesome, here I'll take the dust cover off, it's got um, that awesome, I guess it wasn't in there, it was just hanging out. <laughs> it's got that great cover work here. On the front and the back and this one also opens up look at that so this is a Konami title and y'all gotta know Contra because that is the shit and that is the code and if you have played Nintendo you know the code 
you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know the code, you need to look it up. If you know the code, post it below. <laughs> Comment below and let's see that code. See if you know that code. But I really like this one. I like the um, side A, side B artwork as well. So the side A, like I said, was the, let's see if I can get it on here without some glare. Look at that shiny reflection. So side A, like I said, is the NES version. And then side B, hang on, it's like backwards and upside down and all that, is the arcade version. You can see that cover art there. So that's just a fun one. Mondo always comes out with these awesome soundtrack releases and I feel like I could get lost on their website just looking at everything that they have. I don't remember where we purchased this at. I know it wasn't from Mondo itself. It was at a record store, but um, yeah. We just like keep the other thing here and that was just sliding on the end here. I have another Mondo title and that's the Josie and the Pussycat soundtrack, which is my jam. <laughs> so this one's a fun listen through definitely uh i just put it on not that long ago and we took a listen to it it's fun brings back memories of playing the nes uh the thing about the nes is they have those fun little compilation systems out but unfortunately they're total garbage because we purchased the I'll just tell this story while I'm struggling to get the dust cover back on this thing. Uh, we purchased the Sega version because I love the Sega Genesis. That was m one of my favorite systems growing up. Uh, Nintendo uh, also, but I think my Sega got a little more play sometimes than my Nintendo. My Nintendo mostly lived at my grandma's house, but... But yeah, we bought the Sega for our son who's into Sonic, and of course for us because we want to play it, and a lot of our games... I got cut off in the middle of my story, y'all. I don't know what's going on here. I think I need to figure out the kinks with this thing. <laughs> Anyways, um, basically what it boils down to is I was just yammering on about the um, the new NES and Sega little bundle systems that they've come out with and how, what complete garbage they are because we bought the Sega one and it was trash. We had to return it. Ultimately, we just got a compilation um, game for the Xbox instead and that's worked out a lot better because we were super bummed that cool little tiny retro looking all-in-one game system that you could still pop in your little Sega games just was shit so sorry guys I don't recommend it I don't waste your money we can talk about video games another day but yeah the only reason we're talking about it now is because of this Contra soundtrack so yes if you know the code share the code below if you don't know the code look it up it's fun uh, I hope you all enjoyed I hope you all enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give you a peek inside our vinyl collection. I um, am working on there was a vinyl tag floating around the internet for a while and I am working on that as a video. I'm just trying to jot down my answers. This is really tough you guys. We have a decent sized collection and I'll save I don't even know if I'm gonna sit here and count them all, but I have a good idea of how many we have. But I'll save that number for the vinyl tag. So we'll go through the vinyl tag soon, and I'll pop out some of my albums and answer those questions for you, and I'll continue to do some hauls. And yeah, if there's anything you wanna see that pops out at you on my uh, shelf here, let me know, we can go through it. Uh, if there's any recommendations you guys want for music, let me know. If you want to know more about our equipment, let me know. We are, like I said, we're in the middle of upgrading, so hopefully we'll have a different setup. If you can kind of see in the corner over there, 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 I don't know, I can't really, <laughs> I'm not really good at this. Uh, my son has his own record player, and that's the little Fisher Price one, and he has his own mini vinyl collection too, so we can, maybe we'll have him do his own little vinyl haul. I think that may be fun one day. Um, yeah, it's, his is getting pretty decent too, you guys. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a great day and I plan on doing more of these. If you want to see other type of, type of, if you want to see other type of content from me, you know, I kind of went off on a video game tangent uh, and I do game here and there. I'm trying to put that into my schedule a little more, but I'm so busy. Um, but yeah, I want to play more games. Now that we have a Switch, I am need to get back to playing Mario. My son's already beat it, and I haven't. Come on now, he's five. 
but yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. Now I'm rambling on like a crazy person. So if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of these, please like and subscribe to this channel. And yeah, until the next haul, I'll post some links down below with these uh, titles here if you're interested in those or just checking out the bands in general. And I will talk to you all next time. All right, bye.